Okay guys, so today I'm sharing with you my recipe for frying fish. I start by salting fi salting the fish and adding some chili powder and giving that a nice mix. This is also how I fry my chicken as well. And alternatively, you could also use green seasoning at this point. Just give your meat some green seasoning, mix it and let it rest for about 2, two hours to overnight. Now for arguably the most important part of a fried fish or a fried chicken, the dredge. You have to season your dredge. Here I'm seasoning my flour mixture with simply salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper, smoked paprika and some allspice. These spices together will give the outer layer, the skin of your fried fish, it will give it a delectable taste you will enjoy eating it it will not only just be crunchy it will be flavor packed but to mention I also add a little bit of cumin or jeera ground cumin or jeera into this dredge as well now give that all a nice little mix and I forgot to video this but beat an egg beat an egg or two in a bowl and that will act as our binding agent now to actually prepare your fish you get your fish and you coat it in the first layer of flour get it nice and coated and once it's coated you have to make sure you shake it off properly we don't want too much flour at this point once shaking off thoroughly like so We'll dip it in the egg mixture and then bring it back to coat with flour. And this is a pro tip for frying. Try to use the wet hand dry hand method. I'm using one hand, my right hand, to deal with the dry, the dry flour and using my other hand to deal with the wet egg. Now we want to make sure we press that in properly. Shake it off so there is no excess flour and once again dip this. This process is called double breading and double breading is what would actually give your homemade fried fish much more of that fast food like feel. This is such a simple process. Double breading is such a simple process that anyone can do to improve their fried, fried fish game fried fish fried chicken wings whatever it is just by double dipping you'll take it from like a six to a hard nine now to fry our fish our oil needs to be preheated you need to preheat your oil properly and then we'll lay our fish in one at a time will lay it gently away from us you want to see that sizzling right away as soon as your fish hits the oil this lets you know your oil is hot enough and your fish will fry up to a flaky yet delicate consistency quite easily once you're at the right temperature now once you have that all laid in let it fry for about eight minutes if you're using a flat pan like a cast iron to fry like a cast iron pan to fry this you would actually want to like at the four minute or five minute mark flip flip it to the other side but this is enough oil and it's deep enough so that it will get the fish entirely once your fish starts floating to the top like this and floating around and change to that perfect golden brown color that's when you take it out to have maximum crispness we will transfer this to cool completely on a wire rack the reason why a wire rack is that if you use if you use paper towel or let it sit on a plate just like that the side that is on the plate itself will get very soggy and you won't have that crisp 
like you know that crisp crunch on your fried fish fried chicken or whatever it is that you're frying mmm look at those perfect golden brown fried fish now let those cool completely and enjoy in the next episode I'll show you my favorite way to enjoy these bad boys making them into a fried fish taco stay tuned for that this was actually a special episode for my friend Christine because she's practically asked me how to fry fish so Christine I hope you enjoy it everybody else please remember to like comment share and subscribe this is Javid Khan from Khan's cooking reminding you anything I cook you can cook it too